Good morning. Today we're gonna try and install this bad boy. Check out how cool this thing is. It's a lot of water for a hopefully hot shower. Alright guys, it looks like I got a few options here. Um, these all fit into the big part, um, like that. So I got four options there, two down sizes, two regular sizes, and then I have like some elbows and straightaways and down sizes and stuff like that. So we need to, I forgot to get the pump. Um, that's important, so I gotta go back and get the pump. All right, back to the bat cave. <clears throat> I swear, the most time-consuming part of any build, I'm going to the freaking store. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing multiple trips today. Actually, I know it, I feel it within my bones, but it's okay. Once the shower is done, <laughs> I'll be happy, and hopefully I won't have to do any major projects ever again on this bus. Um, I just <laughs> so burn out of fixing it or uh, upgrading it because I just want to be on the road. Um, you know, I don't want to be like stuck places and fixing stuff. And, uh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back inside Dan the Adventure Bus. Uh, the uh, RV tank is back. Uh, I got plenty of hose for a couple different options. Um, we got the correct fittings and also some incorrect fittings. These are incorrect, these are gray. These are for irrigation. These are the correct fittings over here. These are white, these are vinyl, nylon, nylon. So when working with these, you have to use the correct one, which I learned. I also got some elbows, also nylon, and some threading tape here, uh, which is pretty important. Um, it is starting to rain a little bit, so it does kind of throw me off slightly. Um, the next order of business is that I need to get a brass fitting for this. Uh, not for that, not for that. This is gas. That's where the hot water goes to the shower head. This is where I need it. And I don't really know where, I think, maybe I'm gonna mount it right here and possibly put an inlet right here, if that's possible. I don't know what's on the other side of this. Kinda hesitant to find out. I also need to I need to cut that piece of wood and maybe use 4x4s instead of 2x4s right here. Uh, not really sure. Time to do the sandwich. Alright, so <clears throat> got the rear, I don't know, trunk area cleared out. I'm thinking to put it right over here. So I'm unscrewing the screws. I have to pull it out from the bottom because there's nails. And then we're going to cut that side of it and then put the tank right there. So I'm playing around with the arrangement, and actually this works. Um, I put the piece of wood back up there, the, the divider, because it actually does come in handy to store things in the front where they're accessible. <coughs> I was more concerned about the surfboard and the snowboard not fitting back here. But as you can see, there's my snowboarding gear, snowboard, surfboard, plenty of room. I just have these wet this wetsuit backpack and then this surfboard case which I don't really actually even need with me so I think I'm gonna try this because this just seems a little bit easier all right guys this is what I'm thinking see we don't have to rip out the bed to install this tank there's plenty of space back here and my toys fit in here as well so I think this is gonna be great <clears throat> it's gonna be easy to set up I just can screw everything in here kind of go up and over and then maybe 
do one of those thingamajiggies. If not, we'll just do it in the corner and then just make sure when you're filling in the water, it's above the level of this, so the water drains in there. <laughs> um, this is just an air vent, so I'm not really sure how necessary that would be. That could be a kind of temporary thing that I screw on from time to time if I need it, and then just close this back up with that piece. So again, this would be the easiest and probably simplest way to install the water tank let me think I was thinking to put some 4x4s there and there to secure it in place but I just realized I have these uh, strappy things and I can just bolt in here one of these hooks go up and over bolt a hook in there and then secure the load down already have the tools just need to get some screws and I need to get that little thing for the heater so I'll be back I am using one of these ratchet things don't mind the camel part of it I think it was just the only thing I bought at the time I don't remember so anyways I have a hook down there the ratchet thing to keep this thing nice and snug with a, <clears throat> a little hook down here with the other side of the ratchet and as you can see this baby ain't going nowhere um, pretty snug not over overly snug but um, definitely is secure next step we got to put in the pump uh stuff right here i did manage to uh screw this in this is just a one by four uh just a piece of scrap that i picked up at lowe's that's just nice and flush and screwed in so there's no movement side to side up down anything it's nice and secure <coughs> um i got my i got my haul from uh o'reilly's over here it's a really nice guy trying to help me out and then I got my haul from Home Depot. Clearly I have way too many things here. And uh, I gotta tell you guys, it is aggravating when you talk to different people and they recommend different things. And I know there's more than one way to skin a cat, but at the same time, this is not my expertise and it makes it a million times harder when I get different opinions. I just want one simple way to make it work. So I don't know if I'm gonna go with this uh, thinner uh, wire over here or if I'm gonna go with this really thick wire over there. Um, I'm honestly a little exhausted and it's raining <laughs> and I'm mentally just over it. I've done already like five trips to Lowe's, a trip to O'Reilly's and I'm just... Phew. All right, thank you Aunt Patty for uh, making dinner. Looks like I still got a little ketchup on me. My hot dog. <laughs> All right, here, here's where we are. I pulled the uh, positive and negative red and black wires, eight gauge, all the way up into the battery area. I will be connecting those to the batteries, uh, to the battery, I should say. Next up, just gonna secure the Romex, this white wire over there, with some of these. And then we are going to play around with the positive end of this pump here and this little fuse and also this little switch which lights up when it's on thought it was kind of cool be a cool way to see if it was working if, uh, if the uh, you know switch was on or off so let's get to work all right we are now at an impasse uh, i have this fuse hooked up with a, a little uh, connector right here if you can see that, just a crimp connection. Um, still out of focus. There we go. And this will not fit into this piece right here. Uh, this is 8 gauge for anybody who's familiar with electrical. And this is um, 12 gauge, I believe. Let me just double check. 12 gauge. And so what happens is it, it's not going to work. So, <clears throat> I do have these other connectors right here. These are waterproof. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that, I suppose, just as a test. Okay, so let's, again, just test out 
this will work uh, this is not the proper length <laughs> on either of these it should be in the middle for both of them but as you can see let's put that one in first that one in second Bring them both in there oh wow there looks like some kind of waterproof solution jumping out of there and we are secure I believe that would be a connection now I actually didn't think that this was gonna work like that so um, I guess we can continue on let me show you what's uh, going on inside I ran the wires all the way through into the battery area um, it's a little dark in here but I have both the wires here just kind of wrapped around um, the guys at AM Solar have the fuse here uh, that is for the um, the charger off the alternator right there which charges the solar battery so I'm thinking um, since I'm not a pro perhaps to follow what they did and put the fuse right on the end here um, and then just I would have to connect the red to red and then this fuse to this red hot positive terminal right there next up we are going to make a switch this uh, switch will turn uh, on uh, okay let me say that again this switch will turn uh, blue there's a LED in here it will turn blue when it's on um, so here is the connections right there if you can see that um, and I know it is out of focus okay forget that we're just gonna make it here we have the switch uh, <laughs> basically this interrupts the red wire uh, to turn it on and off and then the black is negative and that's how this thing works um, it was really easy I just put on these uh, adapter things let me see if I can get this in focus finally I put on these adapter things there we go uh, squeeze them and then strip the wire that's it really simple so this um, will be connected directly to the pump here is the I don't want to say finished product because it's not finished but here's the product as of right now I don't know if this is right but I have all three blacks into one um, the one off of the switch goes in there the one off this device goes in there and then the one which goes to the battery goes in there again I don't know if it's right there's no other logical explanation how to hook this up now the other one I am pretty sure is correct because this switch is an intermediary between this larger cable here which travels all the way up to the front of the battery goes into the switch and then it goes out of the switch to the pump now that's how it should be hooked up so assuming this is hooked up correctly oh damn it this thing just came out ah <sighs> all right gotta put that back on so we have red and black red and black red and black coming up to here red and black um let me just place this for some lighting over here okay red and black so black i put this uh terminal on that's gonna go to black over here uh i gotta heat heat shrink that I already clamped it the red thick wire came out i did it another one hey uh did another little class b waterproof thing there here's the fuse and then i have another terminal thing which goes on red positive um i do need to get a uh fuse for the little fuse thing here 